Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles here with you. Uh, these are your morning Catholic news briefs for Friday, October 5th, 2018. While the idea of being forever young can seem appealing, the underdevelopment of morality is a problem in developed nations. Archbishop Charles Chaput of Philadelphia told the Synod of Bishops Thursday. The answer to this problem is Christ, whom the Church must present more strongly and confidently to young people, he noted in his second intervention to the Assembly October 4th. He spoke during the 15th Ordinary General Session of the Synod of Bishops, which is treating of young people, the faith, and vocational discernment. Unfortunately, Chaput noted, many developed countries today are actually underdeveloped in their humanity. They're frozen in a kind of moral adolescence, an adolescence which they've chosen for themselves and now seek to impose upon others. You know, it's a pretty profound statement, I think, if uh, one would uh, think about that a little bit. Catholics in more than 40 countries across the world will unite this Sunday to fight the forces of evil prowling the earth and the church by praying the rosary, an effort that began as a U.S. response to Poland's flourishing rosary at the borders last fall has gone global with rosary rallies planned worldwide in what organizers are calling a clarion call of the Immaculata. Several U.S. cardinals and bishops have endorsed the rosary coast to coast. Hundreds of U.S. sites have registered participation in the rosary rally. The initiative operates under the mantle of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and its patrons are St. Michael the Archangel, St. Maximilian Colby, and St. Padre Pio. And um, the um, the name of the site, if you want more information or find out more about it, is uh, rosarycoasttocoast.com, and the link's in the description box. A third person accused a Houston-area Catholic priest on Thursday of sexually touching him when he was a teenager in a case that has been brought that has brought unwelcome attention to the high-profile cardinal leading the American Church's response to sexual abuse. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, who's the president of the you know, United States uh, Conference of Catholic Bishops. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo of the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, is already accused by two other people of disregarding their reports against Manuel La Rosa Lopez, the pastor at St. John Fisher Catholic Church in the Houston suburb of Richmond. La Rosa Lopez was arrested in September and charged with four counts of indecency with a child. Adam Donnell, an attorney for the third accuser, said Thursday that the accuser says he was an altar boy at a Houston church in the mid-1990s when La Rosa Lopez fondled him four or five times. Donnell declined to identify his client or the church. Donardo came to Houston in 2004. Donnell says the accuser's family reported La Rosa Lopez and that they met with a priest at the church, but his client felt during that meeting that he was being brushed off, Donnell said. The new accuser decided to speak to police this year after reading about La Rosa Lopez's arrest, Donnell said. Prosecutors in Montgomery County, Texas, confirmed he had met with the investigators. Cardinal Gerhard Mueller, the former prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, has urged Pope Francis to look for reconciliation with his critic, 
Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, speaking to EWTN's The World Over program, the German Cardinal called on the Pope to give answers to his accusations or questions, saying, the people of God have a right to know what happened. And um, let's see here. Um, this is with uh, Raymond Arroyo and the World Over program. Uh, if you want to look up, um, maybe I should do that for you. If you want to look at the whole video, because I was reading another article that has, you know, uh, other information that came out during the interview. But, um, you know, let's remember here now, I know not everyone see, you know, will look at every video. So I, I have a need to say this again, because it's really very important. And, that, and I, I put the link to the video I made a couple of days ago in the description box, and it's, it's clearly marked. I, I, I put down exactly what this link is. Um, you know, Cardinal Mueller has direct information about uh, Pope Francis um, blocking an investigation into uh, another cardinal who was accused of sexual ab abuse. And, you know, although that cardinal has now died, you know, it's really very direct evidence. And, um, you know, what's going to come of it, I don't know. But, you know, it's just another example of... Um, you know, what, uh, what the Pope says very often does not match up with what he does. Uh, okay, well, um, I'll, I'll see if I can't find that uh, link for you. All right, we'll move on now. Australian Archbishop Anthony Fisher of Sydney used his speech at the Synod of Bishops to formally apologize to young people for all the ways the Catholic Church and its members have harmed them or let them down. Hmm. Uh, in the presence of Pope Francis, he apologized for the shameful, uh, shameful deeds of some priests, religious and lay people, perpetrated upon you or other young people just like you, and the terrible damage that has done. He apologized for the failure of too many bishops and others to respond appropriately when abuse was identified and to do all in their power to keep you safe uh, and for the damage thus done to the church's credibility and to your trust. Well, I don't know. There was something in the first sentence that caught my eye here. Um, you know, uh, well, you know, he's saying that uh, that the members of the church, I mean, I sort of took that personally. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, what do I got to do with this? You know, uh, you know, you don't even, a lot of this stuff you don't know about until years later. So, uh, okay. Uh, this next story is about um, San Diego. And um, I don't think it says in here. So I, I just wanted to let you know that um, bishop McElroy is the Bishop of San Diego, California, and um, he is about um, as modern or um, left-wing as uh, Kupich is, Cardinal Kupich of Chicago. So keeping that in mind, I'll read this story. Some San Diego Catholics are complaining that the diocese had them removed from a question and answer session on the Catholic clerical sex abuse scandal. Oh, it does say his name. Bishop Robert McElroy of the San Diego Diocese announced in August that there would be a series of eight listening sessions throughout October and into early November. One of the things that happened, one of the things that happened at these events is the bishop feels questions from the laity about the clerical sex abuse crisis. The second listening session on Wednesday was a packed house. Some lay Catholics who tried to attend the event were asked to leave, and not just for the lack of space. Two men told Fox 5 San Diego that they were removed from Wednesday's event. I am grateful that the bishop is having these sessions, one of them told Fox 5. 
and that we have the opportunity to engage with him in discussion. But I do feel like there were a lot of questions that were left unanswered. Kevin Eckerly, a spokesman for the San Diego Diocese, defended the practice of removing certain participants, saying they had attended the last one as well, and they were mildly disruptive so that we could actually have a quality discussion they were asked to leave. Church Militant received several tips from Catholics in San Diego claiming that the people removed from the event Wednesday were young devout Catholics who asked challenging questions on Monday about the problem of homosexuality in the clerical ranks. So make of that what you will. All right, well, that's about all for now, so um, enjoy your day. Uh, it's a very cold, rainy, dark day here. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I guess you have to have those if you're going to enjoy the sunshine, you know, if it was sunny all the time. Of course, it is in a lot of places in the world it's sunny all the time or almost all the time. So, uh, well, anyway, here. So uh, St. Michael's Prayer is coming up if you take a minute. All right, bye for now.